It happened on September the 20th, 2009, a Sunday. I would have just gone through my normal routine of having lunch and getting ready to go out on my bike. In the course of, uh, of, of actually riding away from the house, uh, about you know, half a mile away, uh, the incident occurred where, uh, without any warning whatsoever, my heart stopped. I was staying with my parents in Farnham and I was going home to meet my husband for lunch. Typical me, I was running late, um, took a different route home from, from usual and as I rounded the top of the road I saw a man lying flat on his back on the pavement. There were a group of people around him looking like they didn't really know what to do. I decided to pull over and see if I could help. Someone had already called an ambulance. I checked his, his airways and it was, became clear very quickly that he wasn't breathing and he was actually in cardiac arrest. I administered CPR and mouth to mouth for about 15 minutes until a first responder arrived. After Keith left in the ambulance, I didn't know what had happened to him. There's no protocol for that kind of thing. I was in the intensive care unit and I think it was touch and go, you know, whether I was actually going to live. The next morning, um, when my wife actually uh, got in touch with the hospital, um, the, the, the miracle had happened. My organs were actually starting to work by themselves. And following that, um, I started to make quite a rapid recovery. My mum phoned me to say that she just read an article in our local paper about Keith Aston. And not only was he fit and well, but he'd just cycled 200 miles on a charity bike ride to raise money. And one of the reasons he stated for doing that was that he'd had a cardiac arrest the previous September and what he thought was a passing nurse had stopped in her car and given him CPR on the street, which had ultimately saved his life. We met for the first time about a month or so after the article had appeared in the paper. My mum wrote back and Keith found me basically and got in touch. And we both talked about how important that we both then felt it was that everybody knows how to do it and we've become really good friends since, good family friends. In the first place, um, I always think of her as the person who has actually given me a new lease of life. I, uh, I admire her greatly for actually stopping because she didn't have to stop. She's a great friend as well. She's a wonderful person, she's a wonderful mother and I hope we remain, which we will, I know, very good friends. I don't see myself as a, as a saviour or as a hero or as anything like that. The point is I'm ordinary. I'm just a mum. I'm not a doctor or a nurse or, or anyone with any medical training. I'm just an ordinary person who knew a simple skill. It made me very emotional. Still does. In a good way. <laughs> um, it's very humbling to be able to do that for somebody. Um, there's not really a greater gift you can give someone than their life back.